Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to another Slime Isekai Memories video. So, if you, you might notice that uh, my audio might sound different and this might be um, kind of weird. Uh, my setup is a bit different now, but um, this is the first video I'm recording coming back, I think. Um, and yeah, I apologize if there's any like audio issues or anything like that. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Um, I'll be trying my best, um, and hopefully you guys can grant me some patience with figuring this stuff out. But anyway, um, that all of that aside, we have the Konosuba collaboration. Um, I know I'm a bit late since I, by the time I'm recording this, the uh, all the stuff drops in about 18 hours or something like that. Um, so I am a bit late in recording this. Um, I was going to record it on the night of, um, like right after the stream, but yeah, it just got so busy. Um, I had a lot of things come up and then I was like, okay, well, I, I can't really do it. But we're just going to talk about this anyway, um, just in case you guys haven't caught up and um, are hoping to see what this whole Konosuba collaboration is all about. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So we're gonna skip through um, on the stream. They had uh, Gabiru and um, Megumin's voice actor. I don't remember <laughs> she who she voices in slime, but he voices Kazuma and she voices um, Megumin um, And they are the guest stars and so first that they, they just hop straight into it They announced the Konosuba collaboration and here they have the SNS campaign where you can they're gonna give 10 tickets, I believe this is for the banner, and then this one, this one is just like a sign thing for them that they always do with the, um, with the guests on the stream. And then, uh, I believe, we just go straight into it. We watched a few ads with like their voices and stuff like that, and then, yeah. So here, oh, well, well, yeah, we'll just be clicking through it, but here they have a little Add about uh, Konosuba season three that we'll be releasing um, at some point because it got announced. And here is the collaboration. So it's from the 30th to the 19th. So it's only two and a half to three weeks, which is a little odd. Like it's pretty short. I thought it would be the whole month. Um, it's enough time to release all the new summonable characters and stuff like that. But um, it's a really short time. I, I don't know why. Um, Maybe uh, they just wanted to keep it short and just could only they could only allow it for that amount of time. It, I don't know. Maybe it's something with like the branding and licensing or whatever development plans that they have. But um, we are gonna. They they did play like a little thing. Um, I guess I can turn the the audio up. <laughs> <laughs> おお、ゴールディタケ。コラボ最高。そうだろ。うちの頭のおかしい連中もこうして見ると不思議と様になってるな。ひどい言い草だな。さ、そろそろ本題行くぞ。うん。カズマ、アクア、メグミン、ダク
Okay, it's my computer. So we saw, we're just gonna like skim through this really quickly. Um, if my computer will actually cooperate with me, please. Um, well, we saw that there was uh, Aqua, Kazuma, Darkness, and Megumin as playable characters. And we also saw this, I'm gonna mute it, this little thing right here. Where we have Rimuru in the Megumin outfit and Shuna dressed up as Aqua. So these are the new six characters coming for this month. Who will be summonable and not? Uh, we will find out in just a second. But yeah, they played this trailer. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, and they also show here um, just for the collaboration, Aqua. Megumin, Kazuma, and Darkness, I believe, will all be available in, in your town. So, um, you can just, like, walk up to them and do the do the conversation with them. Um, but it's only for the collab. Like, once the collab is over, then, then they're, they're not going to be available, uh, available obviously. Um, and here, they kind of show, like, you can see, <laughs> you can see Megumin just, like, standing right there. Um, and then we're gonna scroll a little bit past this, and they have um, a new building. It's the if you guys have watched Konosuba, then you know it's Kazuma's mansion, and it, you can go inside it, and it'll play this whole voiced um, like sequence of like, like a conversation. Um, one thing I will say about this collaboration is that it feels much more high quality in comparison to other collabs with other games, um, and I guess we can expect this moving forward with the future um, if they do decide to do collabs then they will get the Japanese voice actors and stuff like that to actually voice the lines which is honestly like really cool considering you don't really see that you don't you see obviously the ultimates and stuff like that but like just their interactions you don't really see that so it's pretty it's really interesting at least for me to see them like interact and stuff like that so pretty cool there um, and then they again show the SNS, and then here is where they go over the details. So, Megumin, we're just gonna, this is right now, Megumin is a fire magic character. Um, she is on the adventure tag, and then um, a, ben a bunch of other forces. Um, let me pull up her details right here. Okay, so her ultimate is pretty crazy. She starts at 530% normal magic damage. And she, um, after she activates her ult though, uh, she's out for one turn. So, as you know, in the show, whenever Megumin uses explosion, she can only do it once a day and then she's just out, right? She can't move, that's why Kazuma moves her and stuff like that. Um, so that's alluding to the show. Uh, once she uses her ultimate after that, um, she just, cannot move for one turn then um, her obviously the EX ultimate will be 1.5 so very quickly if I use the power of the calculator um, 530 times 1.5 so she will do 795% magic damage with her EX ult so she will nuke uh, any boss that you are trying to damage especially an earth boss um, like she would just do massive amounts of damage. So her next skill, um, the 80 skill cost, uh, she is an alt buffer and she also buffs her own magic attack power by 25% for one turn. Um, pretty pretty simple. Um, she ju it's just like Milum, Dark Milum's skill, right? Uh, where she buffs her own magic attack instead um, rather than just how Milum buffs her own attack. Um, but same, same concept. And then her second skill is uh, an orb changing skill and it costs 30 um, and it's basically guys uh, orb change except instead of two greens one orange for blues now it's two oranges one green for blues because we are in a you guessed it another stacking meta um, so take that how you will but um, Yep, we're gonna be stacking again. So I hope you have, <laughs> I hope you enjoy just spamming blue orbs because um, that's the meta. But yeah, Megumin is just like a magic guy, which 
I actually kind of like because Guy is really versatile, so having a magic version of of him is actually pretty cool in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is Megumin. She looks really good. Um, she obviously needs like a support or something, which will probably be, probably be one of the other units um, that are coming out. But uh, like, she'll be fine, I think. But obviously, once she gets that support, then she'll be like really 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 good I think um, well the next uh, we have the protection unit which dun 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 is going to be uh, oh never mind I guess we go into the free to play unit which is darkness so darkness is the free to play unit um, I have her stuff right here um, but she is she's the beatdown battle unit obviously and she's a light physical attacker, again, on the adventure force. And, um, they have a login bonus. I'm just going to spoil it now. They have a login bonus where you basically get her for free. So you don't need to farm the beatdown battle for copies this time, which I think is great. Because it seems like it's one of those beatdown battles where if you don't have the new units, you basically lose. Um... But uh, her ultimate, so she does 470% uh, of physical damage to a single enemy. So she is a physical light attacker with a single target ult, and she increases guard power of all allies by 50% for two turns. Not bad, just standard. Um, so her first skill, she has 100% to provoke um, and give a taunt to, to an enemy. And she increases her own defense by 40% for two turns. So she'll probably have really high defensive stats. And she has a taunt for two turns and she increases her own defense. So that's going to be really good. Um, that skill, I think, is going to be underrated by a few people. Um, just because you think taunt isn't really useful. But then you can literally just throw her on a, like on, on a, a team where you know your DPS is going to be really squishy. You use that, you save um, your other characters, and then you're just able to do all the damage. Like, if you're running against Ifrit, like Extreme Conquest, you can use that skill, and then he'll only attack her. Considering she'll maybe survive the first turn, then you can just wail into him and then kill him like on the next turn, right? So, that skill's pretty good. And her second skill, she is a one-on-one -on -one to one... Or, how do I say this? She's a one... Oh my god. She changes one orange and one green orb to blue. So she's like that special orb changer. Um, which obviously, like we've seen with uh, Guy, that sort of orb change orb change works well. Um, because it pretty much covers all bases um, except when there's three orange orbs um, with Guy. But now it's going to be three green, but then you can still cover that anyway. So... Yeah, I think Darkness is going to be really useful. Um, and it seems like she's on Warrior's Mind, too. So you can use her on the team with Belzar and stuff like that. So I think she'll be useful on both the Adventure and the Warrior's Mind Force. Um, I should do a video on it uh, when she comes out. But yep, yeah, that's Darkness. She is the free-to-play unit. So now oh yeah, here is the login bonus that I was talking about. You get her, and then they give you all the copies for free, two um, five-star up tickets, and then a free five-star. So be sure to definitely log in to get your rewards. And another thing, um, they really wanted to allude to the show. So Darkness just has a chance to completely miss her attack. Um, I hope that chance is low. I don't think it's that low. I think it's maybe like a 10% chance or something. Um, I don't quote me on that because I don't actually know the number, but yeah, she has a chance to just actually trip and miss and do no damage. So I don't believe that can work on the ultimate, uh, but it, on basic attacks, you have a chance to miss. So keep keep that in mind. Um, now uh, I believe here we go. The, the protection, summonable protection unit is Rimuru as Megumin. So the the banner 
Um, the first one that's coming out tomorrow is a double Megumi banner, which is, I think, pretty cool. The art should be pretty nice for it. Um, but here, I have his details uh, right here. So, he is on Will of Shizu and Adventurer for the Protection Forces. And he um, increases uh, six, uh, Adventurer's... Oh my god, okay. He gives a 60% increase in damage inflicted by adventurers against earth types. So, we're against an uh, earth characters are going to be the ones that are now super effective. So, and it's only for adventure characters. They don't specify physical or magic, so that's great. And he gives a 25% increase in attack and defense of will of Shizu or adventurers and or adventurers. So... Whoever's on on those on those teams, then uh, this Rimuru, Rimuru Megumin, whatever. I th I'm pretty sure someone came up with a really weird name, but yeah. Um, let's go over his skill really quickly. So he increases the damage power of um, the ult by 20% until the end of battle. So he's like a reverse Diablo, in the sense where Diablo lowers the resistance. Rimuru powers up your ultimate every time you use it, infinitely. Um, he also, obviously, increases skill cost limit by 40 up until 90, 999. He increases skill point increase of blue orbs by 100% up to a max of 500%. So pretty much the same thing as every other stacking unit like Light Shuna and Belzard. Um, he buffs some sort of attack, which in this case is the ultimate, and then he um, gives the blue skill point increase and uh, skill skill point limit, right? So pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know how like powerful this will be, because like I think it sounds really, really good on paper. Um, but like in comparison to attack, I don't know how that's gonna scale. Um, but but we'll see. I think it will be pretty good. Um, I don't know if it will be like a hundred percent insane cracked. Oh my god, he's a must summon. But I mean that's he's powering your ult, so that that's gotta be really good. Um, so I believe here. Uh, Okay, this is just talking about the skills and like what he does. So here they have this. So they have a quest where they will give you a free duplicate if you pull um, Megumin Rimuru. And here are some of the characters on the adventure tag or force. A lot of Shizus. <laughs> so Fire Shizu, Light Shizu, Aaron, Christmas Shizu, and Wind Shizu. So you can probably expect these characters to be featured on the banner. Um, maybe not Win Shizu, that I'm not too sure. Um, but probably, I would say Christmas Shizu as well. Because she hasn't returned yet, right? So I could see her on, on the banner, but I don't know about Win Shizu. But you can see right here, she has um, both the Christmas and the light Valentine's Day Shizu now have um, a skill fusion. I don't really know what it is because they don't show the light one um, and I don't think they talk about it at all. They do show the Christmas one, I just don't remember which one it is. But here is the free to play unit, uh, free to play protection unit. It is Shuna. So Shuna, what do you do? <laughs> um, She's the free to play protection unit. Uh, she increases skill cost limit by 30 up to 999. Um, and she, I believe, just buffs blue orbs uh, with that 50% 50, 50 up to a max of 250% until the battle ends. Um, yeah, that, uh, yeah, because it says skill points, so I'm assuming the blue orb. So. Eh, I mean, I, I guess you're buffing the skill points and stuff like that, but again, they make these free-to-play protection units actually, like, terrible. <laughs> so, it's like half a protection unit, you know? So, nothing too crazy. She's on Adventure and 
uh, like I think that's story of the ogre um, or the ogre tribe thing whatever and she uh, gives a 30% increase to earth characters or earth type enemies by the adventure force and she um, gives a buff to the ogre tag and the adventure tag so yeah she is the free to play protection unit um, it's interesting I mean I'm glad that they're giving it like it's, she, it's a cool outfit and I'm glad that they giving it to everyone it's a shame she doesn't have like a an outfit or anything or not an outfit an ultimate or anything but that, oh well um so here they talk about uh this is just like the details they talk about nothing to like nothing important um and then here they show the ultimates so if i can okay here we go here we go I'm gonna unmute, I will mute myself, and we will reconvene once this is over. Mm -hmm. ガリに覆われし、夜を so yeah looks pretty good in my opinion i really like darkness's one i'm not gonna lie i think it's just so goofy especially the way she runs <laughs> the noise that she makes i think it's funny um i really like mega means as well like i think they went all out i do wish the explosion was a little bit more like uh, flashy I guess at this end part right here but I think it's good and <laughs> the way she just flops on the floor and Reamers obviously they they made it look really good um, like the the lighting like the neon colors I think looks really good but yeah those are the ultimates look they all look really nice voiced really well so here are the new if it'll load oh my god let me exit out of full screen. So here are the new units that will be coming. Um, and they go over uh, some SNS stuff again. And they classify this team as the charge category. Um, last, last month was speed category. We still haven't had a defensive category since Earth 2.0, which was almost a year ago. Like eight months, I think, right now. So hopefully we see one soon. Here they show some gameplay. Um, we can watch a little bit. It's pretty interesting. Um, so Shizu's uh, thing is her her skill fusion is the fire buff. I don't really know what it is, but yeah. Um, it looks like a Shrine Maiden Rimuru is also on the, or I don't think she's she's not on the adventure category. Um, I don't think because she's not getting the earth buff but the Christmas Shizu is and then here um, you can just see them going going to work uh, let's see if we can uh, I guess I don't really know what to show with this because we already went over their skills maybe after her alt oh wait no she, no they kill after her alt but let's see if we can get darkness missing because there were actually a couple times where you see darkness she just <laughs> she just misses she just does no damage it's it's pretty funny um yeah nothing too crazy again this stage is the same thing where he's the gabiru is so tanky i don't know how you're expected to clear this without the new units it'll be very difficult um if you don't have violet like me uh and you only have fire benny maru um 
yeah, you and me are, are screwed for, for this, but luckily we don't really have to grind it for the, the new unit for Darkness, so I will definitely um, take that. But yeah, we're just going to scroll through. Um, you'll get some playtime with, with her soon, so I think it's fine if I skip that. Here, like I said, is the beatdown battle. You can get um, Platinum Hammers and the uh, Protection character shards here are oh, okay here are the packs so we have the um a hundred dollar or like eighty dollar one uh you get 900 crystals and a copy of megamine for free free quote unquote um and then you have this one you can buy three times for eighty dollars or a hundred ten thousand yen where it's a thousand crystals and then a thirty percent chance of one of the new units either Megamine or Rimuru Megamine um, and you can buy them three times they have the standard one ten times with the tickets the reforged stones and the hot pot same thing but the smaller version and then they have a uh, like a $24 pack or something I think where it's 296 crystals and a 10% chance for the new um, the two new characters and here, this is the event. Um, so this this is its own sort of event kind of thing. Um, you can see there that you can get like the Isis flame um, and the five star and a five star ticket and stuff. So it drops a new type of food. Uh, like I think it's a new. It's just like cabbage, <laughs> considering you know. It's a massive cabbage and that's kind of the theme. Um, so it's going to be a harvest festival. It's from the 7th to the 19th. So definitely grind at this event. Um, they don't really talk much on what you can get out of it, but it's just be sure to harvest a lot of cabbage. And here, yeah, this is one of the new foods, like a salad. And here's aqua, right? Um, I wish this could be my account, man. You have 999 million gold and 1 million population. I wish that could be me. Anyway, uh, yeah, Aqua, you can talk to her as well. So we know that Aqua and Cosma will be coming shortly. And I mean, we have gear for Darkness. They will give gear for Megamine and the other two, Cosma and <clears throat> and um, and Aqua. Uh, obviously, her fan, her outfit. Cosma is like not his jacket, but like the cloak and then his sword. Um, and we saw in the trailer like Cosma does a steal. Uh, for his ultimate and stuff like that. Here we have three new types of buildings. We have the mansion, we have the shed, and the adventure guild building. Um, so you can unlock all three of these and build them in your federation or in your space. Here we have, they're bringing uh, back the um, once a day free summon, like free single. Um, and it's till the 19th, so. I don't know if you guys get a good luck with that. I don't, um, but hopefully you guys do. Here is just some uh, like collaboration stuff. Not really anything like too useful. And then, um, what, what was that? What was that? So yeah, uh, the story that they that they have for the event, I believe, is entirely voiced. So. Unlike other ones before where they would have like certain like ugh, like they make noises <laughs> or like um they'll say a line or something. This one I believe the whole thing is voiced. Uh they show like a little ad and then they're bringing back this sort of format with like space 3.0 where this is the event sort of thing. It's not just the menu. Um Hopefully they improve it where you don't have to click back and forth for like the story stuff. But yeah, that's that's the new um, that's the format for the event. Uh, bah, 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 bah. So here they actually showed they played one scene of the story. So one of like the chapters where you just watch them talk, and the whole thing is voiced. The entire thing is entirely voiced. So I'm telling you, it's high quality. Like for the story. Um, it's surprisingly high quality, so I, I that is greatly, greatly appreciated, um, and it makes me look forward to more collaborations that they that they decide to do. 
So next here is the next chapter for um, the original story. It is the False King Brigade. Um, there, it's like they say like the relationship between Shinsha and Isis will change. The new character uh, Cliche will be um, the main focus of the story, obviously, and um, it's like they call her like the fake king, or either her or like someone that one of the characters is gonna be on the of, that's gonna be the focus is called the fake king. Um, here they showed this, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is gonna be a scene you can see Isis. She's in the hot tub, so <laughs> yeah, ne uh, kind of necessary. But um, here is the new character cliche. I do like the design, kind of. The crown looks a little, a little bit weird on her head. It looks like it's sinking in her head, but I still think she looks cool. Like dark elf aesthetic, pretty pretty cool. Here we see the evil versions, or like demon versions of like Frey, Carrion, and Kazel. Dude, Gazelle looks terrifying. I guess he will be the fake king, but um, they look really cool. I, I like their their, their designs. Um, and here we f uh, figure out this is the the special event that they were that they were hinting at like four months ago. Um, here they increase the level cap of all the houses. So like the orc houses, the the newt houses, like the lizard houses and stuff like that um, now they can be leveled up to level 60 so if you had all those maxed you gotta level them up again but um, if you're like me and I am NOT having them level maxed then this is not a problem so next we have some Twitter campaign stuff like you can join and we can get um, some crystals uh, some scout tickets and um, some hammers and stuff like that. Next, they're bringing back the uh, the fourth free construction slot for a week, which is great. Um, I will definitely appreciate that. Uh, here they have to <laughs> refer a friend again. Um, I will post my code, I guess, but I don't know. This, this, I think I wish they would change this system. But next, we have this. So they're giving out more Rimuru Koban medals. So now you will get up to 50 instead of just the, the th how much would you get before it's like third was it 30 that you would get before um but now you, you get 50 um and hold on. so if this goes from the 30th to till um august 1st so if you ever subscribe within that time period of, of, of that of the entire month of July you will get just more Rimuru Koban medals than normal because of the collaboration so uh, here they have some illustrations more illustrations here they announced the um, Valor Cup stuff dude the people in Japan are so cracked or on in the Asian servers are so cracked um, and then this one is like the European and the rest of Asia servers. Here's Heroes Jubilee. Um, congratulations if you're on if you are on here. Um, I am not. <laughs> uh, I am very far <laughs> from any of that. But yeah, uh, here they just they just talk for a while. Do some illustration stuff. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Um, and honestly, I think that's pretty much it. Here they talk again about the movie, and then here and like the blu-ray slash dvd that you can buy and then you can redeem the the ticket and same as usual it's up to earth 2.0 um with clayman and then they do some more drawings talk about the sns stuff and i think they wrap it up there that's pretty much it so yeah um that's pretty much it how long has this been going on for like 30 minutes so it's a lot of information i know um again i apologize for being late um we are on the new setup uh, Hopefully this turns out well and this sounded okay. Um, let me know if you, there were like any audio issues that you want to want me to fix I'll look into it um, Let me know down below if you guys are excited if you're gonna summon um, I think the characters are cool. I don't know if I want to spend any money for these characters as sad as that sounds even though 
I don't know if they're gonna come back. I like with Epic Seven, the other game that I know that does a lot of collabs. Um, those units, like, once they're gone, I don't believe. Once they, unless they do another collab, the units don't come back. Um, so I'm kind of worried that that's this is how it's gonna be. Um, but I really don't want to be shilling out money right now, and I am. Uh, I'm not the most hyped in the world. Like I think it's really cool, and I like Konosuba. But I'm not a massive fan, you know? So, I don't know. Let me down. Let me know down below if you guys are hyped or excited. Um, and, yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to summon as well. Um, I will not put out a summon video. Maybe. Probably. But I will um, definitely do a should you summon uh, video. And we'll look at the banner and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um... Thank you all for watching, and if you stuck to the end, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. We are aiming for a thousand uh, by the end of the year, hopefully. Um, I know I have been. <laughs> I, it's just, I, I don't know, any any time, like, it's like a few months, things come up a lot, and then I, my consistency also just drops a lot. So, yeah, thank you for sticking it all with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.